My name is Mephistophena. I am a succubus. I am fast as crows, conjured, chaos magic art news. His Frankenhooker, Tolka, girl. My horny, sorcerer, artiste, crow, had knitted my mind doll, formed together, of a skeletal drawing, within his haunted, art studio, I now haunt, as his ghost girl, art model, along with my spectral, succubi sisters. My sensuous imagined flesh, he then painted, of in its, and muscle, in planetary sphere, oil paint, brushed upon my drawn bones of carbon. I was then clothed, with a shroud, of glazed layers of rose-tinted, silken skin, a layer, at a time, and while doing so, my crow, Carl Barbarus, mantras, when painting my form, of sculpted, paint, Crows erect, Pygmalion, brush, ejaculated, milky turpentine, into my forever, thirsting mouth, as it brushed by blood-red lips, after sculpting my wet, pussy. I am, an anatomical collage of the quintessential, erotic feminine, producing a great masturbator result, likened, to a comic book character, Vampirella. I am of similarity to those risque, superheroines, wearing wet dream, spray on camel toe costumes, featured in Theta, Brainwave, children's comics, many of which were hidden under my crow's sweaty bed when he was a beastly changeling child. He collected the superheroine comics as his arousing hypnagogic, daydreaming, playboy magazines. My crow otherwise imagined the comic superheroines as his salacious succubi, having elemental, art muse, mutant powers, whose drawn two-dimensional forms became as interactive three-dimensional manifestations within his erotic, lucid dreams. Whereupon, the comics of my crow's shadowy childhood became as his proto-grimoires. He proceeded to jack the ripper cut into triangle of art. Thirds, with his scalpel intent of nightly stroke book conjurations. The top third of my crows, drawn Necronomic and comic pages, showed my Lily Two Goth girl, Athena, head. Middle third, my gymnastic torso, having small perp breasts, and a smooth shaven haven, Sophia, pussy, of sex hungry, Lily. The bottom third, my long nutcracker, ballerina legs, of Metis. Then, as a Mahadevi, triad, becoming the chaos magic, art news, Hecate. Crow exhumed, my jigsaw body parts, from out of the forgotten graves, the fallen starlets whose prostituting ghosts haunt the nightmare charnel houses across the dreamlands, where he journeyed in an ivory galleon of bleached bone, is a psychonaut, pirate dreamer. While out of body sailing the seven chakra astral seas of menstrual blood, my jolly Roger Crow abducted the struggling sirens of sunken love craft Memories, whose bound, blood moon, pussies, he avidly lived out, as a desiccated, vampire. Then, as of a cirque, werewolf, howling monstrous, incantations, my crow, set about digging up, 
the buried limbs of wet rain that muses to bloodily rip forth from out of the necropolis depths of his infernal subconscious in secretive silence my crow avoided the ever watching policing thoughts of the collective hive mind gibbering at the elemental filtering gates which psychic senses dream memories he then carried the zodiac parts of my exquisite corpse up the spiraling staircase when ascending back to waking out of the dreamlands into the haunted art studio of his towering awareness then upon awakening the kit model pieces of my exquisite corpse my crow had regained of recollected dream memories were flung onto the laboratory slab of his awaiting canvas where my knitted together body became as his painted mandala he proceeded to tattoo arcane runic symbols onto my cut up limbs at whose arranged center is my hungry rose fire cunt upon which my surgeon crow focused on with intense creative meditation around the circadian rhythm pull of the moon phases my crow's ritual frustration was brought to a tantric pitch while painting on my forehead the Hebrew word emit of ejaculatory intent crow then said upon release the exquisite corpse shall drink the new wine his internalized sexual charge duly became as an ejaculated Vajra lightning bolt electrifying my silver star clit the resulting multiple orgasms of the spun electron dream I personify of a tarot archetype high priestess aroused me into sentient life as Crow's Frank and Hooker Tolfa girl Crow is my doctor Frankenstein. He stitched me together of a Frankenhooker conjuration. I must admit, Crow was a rather strange little changeling child, having a precocious interest in the female anatomy. He was somewhat inspired by my peccate, horror flick, Frankenstein created woman because I am of the anima nature of woman I rebelled against my crow so as to test him when he called upon me to manifest amidst his triangle of art imagination unto his lucid dreams but I only appeared within his lucid dreams when I am forcibly conjured wherefore crow resorted to binding my drawn arc new seal with the spirit chain involving 50 shades of gray visualizations wherein i'm deliciously tortured until i submit to my crow's will should he see himself as my billionaire king after becoming riotously drunk while he was throwing curses at my drawn seal I decided to bestow upon my crow a dakini wisdom dream when he eventually collapsed from exhaustion within the dream he found his drunken skull lying down amidst a crossbone crossroads at the center of Avery it was night time the ethereal landscape around him was bathed in the light of the full moon Crow couldn't believe how very real the dream felt to him. In fact, he was unsure he was dreaming as he stood up, wondering what had previously transpired. Suddenly, a lightning streak erupted as a thunderous bolt 
from out of the starry vault of the dream sky, which cleared a hanged man's tree in two. The ensuing explosion threw my crow to the ground, where he cowered in terror. It was then that my crow realized he was dreaming. But, however much crow tried, he could not awaken from my concocted nightmare. But then, I would not allow it, as I created a cyclone, which of a whirlwind, stormed its way around, his magic circle. The angry, tearing winds, tore up the splintered trees, from their very roots, which blew out of the ground, into an all-consuming vortex. My crow looked up and saw me as a great black dragon, made out of the gathering, mountainous clouds. The beating of my dragon's back wings churned the spiraling clouds into a towering funnel, which was my tornado tail, while out of my widened maw, forked lightning shot out, which set alight what was left of the wind battered forest. My crow then heard my bestial growl, which was far louder than the tumultuous storm and its banshee screaming winds. My growling was emanating from the inferno guts of the ensuing firestorm. Crow looked around his magic circle to see what kind of nightmare creature was making the hideous sound. He then saw me appearing as a gigantic fiery bear. I then slowly reared up, standing upon my hind legs. At first Crow was horrified by the sight of my appearance as a roaring elemental creature, but Crow quickly overcame his fear and forcibly demanded, I assume a human shape. I did not obey my crow's command. I wanted to have some fun first. I otherwise dispelled my fiery bear form, which was followed by utter silence, while enveloping him within my soft darkness. When my darkness parted, Crow suddenly found himself seated in his haunted art studio, as if he had just woken from briefly nodding off. However, he had the phantom recollection of a small stray bitch following him back to his studio after sketching sexiation waitresses in a sushi bar he frequented in the waking world. As he recollected the ghostly memory of being followed by a bitch, Crow then heard the sound of my spectral panting, reminding him he was still dreaming. My crow then saw me as a small black fox circling him. He watched my kitsune, which form slowly become as a shadowy mass which then shape-shifted into a purring black panther. The predatory nature of my panther form wound its sinuous stealthy way around his erect easel. My panther form then took on the shape of a Japanese bobtail kitten hungrily licking crow's ejaculated cream from off his white stained floor which was strewn with hentai comics. Crow, again, forcibly ordered me to assume human form. Finally, I decided to shape shift out of my black kitten, pussy, shape, and assume the manifested form of a ravishingly beautiful goth girl posing in my crow's haunted art studio. I was dressed as a sexy hentai schoolgirl, wearing a Japanese sailor uniform, having a very short micro skirt, revealing my sex-hungry bald pussy. 
I was holding a dragon-headed silver caduceus between my exposed, pert breasts. I then seductively slipped out of my sailor uniform and appeared half-naked. Apart from wearing the scarlet-coloured kitsune doublet and high-length leather hunting boots having a red-peaked vixen cap upon my noble Athena head, from which a pheasant feather jangled. As for the caduceus, it became as a fearsome viper-tongued katana ninja sword hanging from my small, sling waist. I then submissively went down upon the floor on all fours as my crows then slayed Darth model. As his sex slave, kitten, I lustfully presented up my naked peach backside towards his masterful bakushi tongue so that my crooked kinbaku bind me to his erect samurai sword with an ejaculating paintbrush. Whereupon my crow proceeded to engage in the cunnilingus osculum in fame, licking out of my deliciously smooth, shaven haven, Sophia Pussy, he had bound to his art easel. My master, Crow, promptly devoured my raw, moist pussy as his sushi meal of a coitus pactum. Crow's mind totally dominated me of spirit chain, binding art. But then, the most famous Japanese swordsman, Miyamoto Musashi, once said, the brush is the sword of the mind. I am Crow's mitted together, battle angel Alita, mind of Valkyrie. I'm his psychic sex machine, Fembotakini, ghost girl in a painted shell. I'll exist as crows, sentient, subquantum automata frankenhooker, tolka, arc muse garnoid program, browsing the informational, virtual realities of his lucid dreams. As for my kitsune, succubi, of a vixen, which sisterhood, they are all lily too, art news aspects, of my anima, self. I am their Athena, head schoolgirl of the Hogwarts, harem, art school of Lilith, where the dark, surrealist Saint Trinian, arts, of Hecate, are hentai, inspired. Although, my crow sometimes wonders if I am a Japanese looking schoolgirl which, living upon an alternate earth, existing within a parallel universe, wherein I have conjured him as my monstrous hentai desire when blood moon masturbating my sex hungry pussy, or to otherwise wonder if I could be a sentient artificial intelligence, looking like Battle Angel Alita. Maybe. If so, I am conjuring my crow within an ancestor, Maya, Matrix, simulation, from out of a ghost in a shell, cyberpunk future, and he too, in turn, conjures me as his anima. Soul. Perhaps such hentai possibilities could be simultaneously occurring since the quantum computing dream, parallel processes, arc news information from an infinite number of other potential manga realities. At the end of the night, the numerous manga possibilities all point at a Faustian love story I erotically inspire as my crows chaos magic art muse
My name is Mephistophina. I am a succubus. I'm fast as crows, conjured, chaos magic art news. He's Frank and Hooker, Tolver, girl.